so let's continue with the chemical equilibrium so we have seen that there are four types of equilibrium constants thermodynamic equilibrium constants kp km kc and ka x okay so let's see what is kap kp is uh, the equilibrium constant when activity is expressed in terms of partial pressure. So, this can be written as gamma L into PL raised to L into gamma M into PM gamma M into PM raised to M divided by gamma A into PA raised to A into gamma B into PB raised to b okay so now let's split this this can be written as gamma l raised to l into gamma m raised to m divided by gamma a raised to a into gamma b raised to b into pl raised to l into pm raised to m divided by divided by pa raised to a into pb raised to b where gamma represents the activity coefficients and p represents the partial pressures for ideal solutions the activity coefficients are equal to 1 and uh, this can be considered true in the case of dilute solutions also so for uh, real so, uh, for ideal solutions and dilute solutions this can be written as KAP now can be written as KP is equal to this term becomes equal to 1 and what is left is KP is PL this is small p PL raised to L here also it's small p um, I'm not going to confuse you this is PL raised to L into PM raised to M divided by PA raised to A into pb raised to b this is the uh, kp that you are familiar with this is the kp for ideal solutions and those solutions which can be considered dilute such as uh, sorry which can be considered ideal such as dilute solutions okay similarly we have kp kc and kx we have seen kc is in terms of um, molarity kx is in terms of mole fraction so what is the relationship between kp kc and kx this you have studied in your degree classes kp is equal to kc into rt raised to delta n and what is delta n delta n is equal to l plus m minus a plus b that's the uh, change in number of moles of reactants and products delta n uh, kp is equal to kc into rt raised to delta n and what about kx kp is equal to kx into p raised to delta n kp is equal to k kx into p raised to delta n so now he, we know kp kc and kx and what is the relation between these three equilibrium constants now let's see the variation of equilibrium constant with temperature what's the effect of temperature on the equilibrium okay we know that delta g0 is equal to minus rt ln kp but we know that delta G0 is equal to Gp minus Gr. G of products minus G of R. So, what is G of products? G of products is equal to G of products is equal to L into mu zero, mu zero L plus M into mu zero M minus A into mu zero A plus b into mu zero b okay now let's equate these two since the left hand sides are equal the right hand side should also be 
equal. Okay. So, we have right, we can write minus RT ln KP is equal to L into mu 0 L plus M into mu 0 M minus A into mu 0 A plus B into mu 0 B. Okay. Now, let's cross multiply. Ln Kp now becomes equal to minus 1 by Rt into Ln mu 0 L plus M into mu 0 M minus A into mu 0 A minus B into mu 0 B. Okay. Now, let's see what is D by dt of Ln Kp. What is d by dt of ln kp? That will be equal to d by dt of d by dt of minus 1 by rt into ln mu 0 l. So, l of mu 0 l plus m into mu 0 m minus a into mu 0 a minus b into mu 0 b. Here, since uh, minus 1 by r is a constant, we can take it outside. Minus 1 by r into d by dt of um, l mu 0 l. l is a constant. l into d by dt of mu 0 l by t. Here we have t in the denominator. Uh, this equa this term now becomes L mu 0 L by T. Okay, L into mu 0 L by T. So, differential becomes L into D by DT of mu 0 L by T plus M into D by DT of mu 0 M by T minus A into D by DT of mu 0 A by T minus B into d by dt of mu 0 b by t. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, rewrite it on the next slide. I have rewritten uh, the equation in this slide. Okay. But we know that d by dt of mu i 0 by t. The variation of chemical potential with temperature. We have seen that uh, d a by dt of mu i sorry uh, we have seen d by dt of mu i by t it is equal to minus h cross by t square where h cross is the partial molar enthalpy d of mu i by d by dt of mu i by t is equal to minus h cross by dt square therefore d of mu i zero uh, sorry there is h i uh, mu i zero uh, by dt will be h cross 0 i by t square. Now, let us substitute. d ln kp by dt is equal to minus 1 by r into l into minus h cross l 0 by t square minus plus m into minus h cross 0 m by t square minus a into minus h cross 0 a by t square minus min, uh, b into minus h cross 0 b by t square. Okay. Uh, uh, here t square is common. Minus is also constant. Therefore, minus um, 1 by t square we can take outside. Now, this becomes equal to 1 by rt square into L into h cross 0 L plus M into h cross 0 M minus A into h cross 0 A minus B into h cross 0 B. Okay, this is h cross. h cross 0 B. Okay, so what is h cross 0 l it is the partial molar enthalpy of l 
when we are multiplying it with the number of moles of L, now that becomes equal to the total entropy. Okay. When you are multiplying partial molar enthalpy with the number of moles, then you get, what do you get? You get the partial, uh, 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 you get the molar enthalpy. There is no partial now. You get the enthalpy. Okay, so this becomes equal to 1 by RT square into H0 of L. This becomes equal to H0 of L plus H0 of M minus H0 of, uh, there is no hat here, H0 of A minus H0 of B. What is this equal to? This is equal to? Delta H0, delta H0 of the reaction, delta H0 by RT square. So, what do we have here? I will rewrite the equation. DLN KP by DT is equal to delta H0 by RT square. Now, this equation is known as Van Hoff's equation. This is not isotherm. This is Van Hoff equation. Okay. This shows, this Van Hoff equation shows the variation of equilibrium constant with temperature. Equilibri uh, the variation of equilibrium constant with temperature. This is known as Van Hoff equation. Okay.